They ended up uh, watching and panicking as their army disintegrated into shreds. Generals, this is your army. Remember, you can't just steam in and get battling. You've got to get organized. Captains, you better get down and start getting familiar with the troops that you've got. Generals, think it through, and you'll know when the battle starts. Okay. We need to know whether we can fire across here before we're, we're cracking on, yeah? Now, the team's army, the Persians, the Purple Force, are approaching Dara from the south. And across that ditch are the defenders, the Byzantines in red. They've got cavalry on the flanks, but an ambush. Look out here on this flank. What infantry have we got down there? Have we got any spears? We've only got one very small unit on the left. The team's army has got a lot of cavalry. They've got nine units of horse archers. They've got three lots of cataphractoi and a troop of horse javelins. And they're supported by five units of spearmen and five of foot archers. What are the troops we're facing over here on the right? The enemy's got fewer cavalry, but more infantry. The skirmish has shown that this battle can be won or lost by cavalry action. We've just got archers on the left. That's all the army yeah, 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 we'll we'll other armies, So, though. small unit of cat cataphracts here, of, of us. Yeah, but that's a big unit of cataphracts against us. The team is setting up with a strong force of cataphracts on one flank, strong force of cataphracts on the other flank. They're setting up just the way the Persians did in the real battle. What are you going to do? OK, what we're going to do, we're going to bring the infantry down to there. Right up to the ditch there? Right up to the ditch. Yeah. With the archers in behind. Right. First strategy is to engage the enemy across the ditch with the archers. Across the ditch? Across the ditch. If, we, if we're Are in they going to be able to reach from there, those archers? But that's, that's, we, we haven't You're yet gonna established that. We're going to find that out when you get there. Okay. Yeah. We're then going to bring two lots of cavalry here. Rest over the other side. Rest over the other side. Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to be with using weapons? Because, I mean, you lot, you can't just chuck them away and get stuck <laughs> in with your thumbs or whatever. You need to, you need to use them. That's, that, we don't see that as a problem. OK, well, it's 5.30 AD. Ancient enemies will be coming together tonight and there will be only one victor. Let battle commence. <laughs> Guys, we need to get those archers forward. Okay, you're up to the ditch. And the infantry. Yeah, he's your he's closest unit. Okay, you can talk to him. And the team's army is now moving towards the city of Dara, but they've got to negotiate that ditch, and they can either try and get through it or find their way round the sides. Look what the Byzantine army has done. They've moved up right up against the belly of that ditch, which will allow them to fire right across the front of the Persian army with their own archers. It's going to come down to a slogging match between the Byzantine archers and the Persian archers. The team has an advantage in that because the team has got more archers. I just hope they've learned from their skirmish. I mean, they seem very organized in the planning stage. They fell apart last time under pressure. OK, they've come, up to, they've come up to their side of the ditch. Keep an eye okay. on how close the enemy are getting. As soon as they're in range, let's get the firing. Yeah? Don't forget, if you can fire on them, they can fire yeah, on you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you want them in any sort of formation? And basically, we want to, we want to engage them in a straight line across the ditch, yeah, the, with the archers and the... Uh, archers. Oh, what about our yeah. cavalry? Our cavalry. They're going to sweep round to the, to the right, just backing up the infantry and, and sweeping round to the right. Some infantry that can that can go with them, just in case anything comes out of the ditch. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay. Behind them. No, in front. No, they're walking at the moment. Do you want them to go quicker? No, that's fine. I reckon individually, they're both pretty good generals. We're in range. Is how they're going to work together. That will be important. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to start firing, please? Because okay. they're doing it to us. We follow the team's arrows in. We can see them beginning to have a small effect on the uh, on the Byzantines, but still, one has to say, not great. This is going to take some time to have a real effect. I think. There's a unit coming up over the hills on the left flank. Okay, okay. fire on it. We okay. can it before fire. it hits us. I 
don't know if I'm right, but they look a lot more cohesive, a lot more together than they did in the skirmish. Are they? It started well, but of course, as always with these things, it's when it goes really pell-mell that we'll see if they can hold together. And that's going to be a problem, because I think that these generals are not willing to let the captains knuckle down and do the job. Every time something complicated comes up, the generals abandon the bird table. They, oh, run, they do run down a That's lot, right. They run away. From, they lose the big picture. OK, as soon as you pass them, Jamie, swing round to the left and attack. Now, what's happened here is that they have taken the lure, if you like, of coming across the gap. So they've moved around the team's right, they've brought cavalry through, and they're attacking the Byzantine flank. All well and good, but of course that will trigger the Byzantine ambush. And that they is are going now to be moving fantastically forward. bloody. I'm going to go and watch it down there on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> also got a set a lot that hanging back. Oh, oh yeah, the on, the right. on the right, on the right. Trouble on the right. OK. Turn round. Turn round and have them. Shall I just hold position, Steve? Yeah, so we've, we've got a big on the arches oh, okay. there. Fire. We've got a problem on the right. OK. Your, your guys in the middle there, turn them round now. They've just about won where we are. Turn they, the key thing is they've got to realise that this threat is emerging behind them. And if they don't change the face of their cavalry or bring in more cavalry to see off the threat, they are about to get bullets. Still, oh my god. And I'm afraid it's like watching a car crash. Turn around and attack these guys coming in as quickly as you can. isn't going well for the team at this point because the ambush is basically working. But if the team can disengage here on their right flank, on the Byzantine left flank, and figure out something else to do, well, that's exactly what you do with cavalry. You use them in an agile fashion. You throw them in, you experiment, because you can always get them out afterwards, can't you? So will the team get the cavalry out of that ambush instead of leaving them in there to fight? And so far, they're leaving them in there to fight. And there's a lot of purple draped horse bleeding to death on the ground. What we've got now is such a chaotic battle going up on their right flank there. The way the battle is developing on this flank, it's moving into the wrong half of the battlefield as far as the team is concerned, the team's half of the battlefield. Start to move your infantry round to, your, round to the right. Where are the archers? Okay, team. Team. Second, come back to the table here. You have an opportunity to come together, discuss your tactics. We've paused the battle yes, for you. This, this is the back of our right. of our archers. This is the back okay. of our archers. Back of yeah. archers. Uh, 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 yeah. Yes, I know. I, know. But I mean, we've this got big is... concentration here. Small yeah. concentration. We're holding them here. Yeah. I can yeah. space. I can send some across. We need, what we need to do is we need to bring need some of these guys there. across here. Yeah. Where is that Persian virtue of patience? All they need to do is stand out there in the baking sun and force the defending Byzantines to stand there too, sweating in that heavy armor as they get filled full of arrows. The team has got more soldiers. They can afford to stand there and exchange arrows. Take in the middle and then bring this one. You've got 30 seconds and you're going to be back in the middle of it. So we're going to bring, we're going to bring these troops yeah. here up here. Yeah, they're going to continue to engage here. If I can offer one thing, don't yeah. get too fragmented. No, if you okay. get broken up, you are easy yeah, okay. picking. Should we just go for it here? We, we need the cataphracts of Jamie's in the front of that yeah, lot. You in the front of, of that attack. Go okay. do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jamie, you're okay well, sending them in? We're, we're going to bring these infantry round to here. Yeah. yeah. Bring the archers up so they're more in range. Tip and we're, we're going we're to continue to... Don't leave gaps that will allow you to be flanked. Okay.